and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy cheap ludes i know it's a little late for a pack opening all right this is the new pack opening schedule deal with it i'll be opening packs at like 5 p.m central time from this point forward all right it kind of sucks but it is what it is at least your boy's not broke asking you for money so you know things could be worse we got the hunt for glory cold blooded packs cold blood pretty tight i mean we got galaxy oval allen houston and honestly you know don't worry your boy is still monitoring the twitter discourse like people are hating on allen houston for whatever reason i don't know he looks like pretty solid i don't know why people are hating on him but at least this way i can give you like accurate pricing for these guys since i'm actually doing this back opening at night or whatever uh oh larry bird's back in here oh my his price was already cheap enough Ray Allen's in here, but not NBA 75 Ray Allen for some reason. Curry's in here, but not NBA 75 Curry? I'm very confused. Beja Stojakovic is in here. That's cool. Trey, Mike Miller, Diamond Clay, Tyler Hero, Big Dirk, yeah. Mahmoud abdul Rauf. That's actually a really sick name. I don't think I'm saying that correctly, but that guy's tight. Katino Mobley, my boy. Let's take a look at the odds. Sub 2% for an opal two percent chance for a pink diamond wow yeah the odds are terrible i'll go into an in-depth explanation of all the players at the end of this video but for now even with the terrible odds let's do it let's open some packs i do really need my boy katino though katino looks incredible like top tier ruby oh, oh okay this is this is this is what's happening maybe five o'clock's the move here no it's not it's just a diamond is it F-Boy Extraordinaire, Tyler Hero. Indeed, it is. Tyler Hero looks great. He does look like one of the best budget wings in this game. Shifty dribble style, like LeBron crossover, solid. He's got the Scottie Pippen behind the back and the James Harden step back. Okay, <laughs> Tyler Hero might be tight. He's got Trey Young on quick, release 150 upper, 94 three-pointer. Uh, pretty much every shooting badge. Yeah, my boy Tyler Hero is nice. <clears throat> He's probably really cheap. I, I don't know at the moment. I'm assuming he's extremely cheap, but we'll we'll find out. He is kind of getting hyped on the interweb, so it is entirely possible that he's like kind of expensive. I'm not sure. What do we got? Oh, Jackson Hayes and a heat check Kyle Lowry, dude. That's super tight. I'm very glad. That's a really good return for my 10,000 MT for sure. <laughs> Page still looks okay, but he kind of just looks like a worse Richard Lewis, to be honest. Like, give me Catino. Oh, that's Kyrie. Who is this? Who is Giorgios Kaled Zakis? What is going on here? I don't know what to say about this guy. Like, he kind of looks like if Duncan Robinson and like Ursan Ilyasova had a child. Like, that's kind of what that would look like. I don't wish that upon anyone. Shout out to Billy Donovan, the goat of coaches right now. Three packs in. We're not doing really that well right now. Uh, but, uh-oh. Okay. Shake, 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 shake. Pink Diamond. Oh, you know it's going to be Larry Bird, too. The only unfortunate part about opening packs at night is that... That's <laughs> just Steve Nash. <laughs> no. I don't want Steve Nash is that the values are already massively decreased on the cards that I pull, which which that part kind of sucks. <clears throat> like when I pull, if if I were to have pulled uh, Peja like in the morning, I could probably get 80K for him if I put him up right away. But if I were to pull Peja right now, I don't know what his price is currently, but I bet it's like 40K if not lower. And no one really opens these, so it's, it might be like 50. Wang's still really expensive, but Wang's good, though, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the odds really aren't that good. I hope you guys haven't made the decision to actually open these packs uh, quite yet, because they're kind of bad. Like, yeah, I pulled two diamonds and a pink diamond, but I wouldn't exactly say that that's good. Tyler Hero's probably like 7,000 MT, if I had to guess. I mean, I could be wrong. Like, hypothetically speaking, I could be wrong. I was going to make fun of his haircut, but, you know, I, I, I can't necessarily do that right now. <laughs> uh, I hate being professional. All right, we're going to open a few more. I've opened like 100K worth of packs, I think. No, it was like 70 so far. 
either way, I'm not making any MT back off of this. Like I'm not pulling anything of value. Like Steve Nash is not bringing me very much MT. So I'm going to open like a pack or two and then call it quits here. Come on, at least give me Catino Mobley. How many rubies am I going to get that aren't Catino Mobley? You guys are really disrespecting me and my boy Catino like that. All right. Yeah, I would say do not open these. Like, the odds are not very good on these. Like, in, unless you like diamonds. If you like Tyler Hero, which I have now pulled three Tyler Heroes, then you're going to love these packs. Never mind, this isn't Tyler Hero. I think this is Drazen Petrovic, which I actually don't have. Um... The reason for that is just due to pure laziness. I, I mean, I'll keep him. He's going for like not very much MT. Let's see if anybody wants this 94 Nuggets playbook. All right. Yeah, those packs were a huge dud. <clears throat> I would highly recommend not opening them, but let's take a look at some of the cards. I only got Tyler Hero. Like, all right, Katino Mobley is, I mean, he looks like a normal uh, Ruby card. But that being said, Katino Mobley looks really, really solid. Like truly, let me see what his SIGs are exactly. Base dribble style, which is not very good. Jump shot 26, which is Serge Ibaka. Yeah, Serge Ibaka, Kevin Martin, Shannon Brown, Devin Harris on quick with John Wall upper. Good badges too, like realistically, he has good defensive badges, good dribbling badges. Granted, he doesn't have a good dribble style or good dribble SIGs. Limitless spot up and chef quick first step yeah i mean there's not very many badges this guy's missing it's kind of crazy like he doesn't have hyperdrive or intimidator which are i guess kind of important it just kind of depends he doesn't have seven seconds which i think is the one that i would say is kind of interesting for him he doesn't have set shooter i don't really know what to say there it's kind of shocking to be honest katino mobley is I'm not going to say he's like a must cop because I don't know how much better he is than this guy right here. Truly. I, I know it's going to sound silly that I'm even saying this, but I don't know how much better he is than my boy, Luke Kennard. Like truly, he's got a better badge count, but Luke Kennard's straight nasty with it. I like Luke Kennard. He even booms harder. What more can I say? Well, the defense would be very high. I just feel like they could have used a picture of Katino Mobley where he didn't look like the alien from Destroy All Humans. I just feel like they could have done that. All right, <clears throat> Mahmoud Abdul Roof, he actually looks pretty good. I think we're getting to the point where even the, uh, all the amethysts are kind of the same. They're all gonna have like max hot zones and like 47 gold badges with like a hoff or something. I think we're getting to that point. Uh, Mahmoud's good though. I mean, six foot one, he's got base 36. So he's like a Walt Frazier clone, but it's on normal. So he's gonna have kind of a slow jump shot. Um, shifty dribble style though with Pippin behind the back so he can move but 85 driving dunk solid he's got a few defensive badges but he's got really the good ones intimidator interceptor clamps uh, limitless spot up he does yeah he has hot zone hunter good hot zones Mahmood's pretty good I, I don't think he's like outright one of the best cards at even his tier but it's not a bad guy to pick up, especially if you're trying to build like an all nuggets team. Where's my boy Robert Pack though? I would have preferred Robert Pack. I'm a Robert Pack guy. Then we got Tyler Hero. He's looking like he might be actually kind of expensive, um, which is shocking. I mean, he's a good card for sure. I'm just kind of shocked he's as expensive as he is. He's like 30K. Look, if you're a big Tyler Hero fan and you want this card, just give it a few days. Like. This card will collapse in value. He looks to be kind of overhyped at the moment, but I guarantee this card will be like, I call it, it's, it's Bob McAdoo. Think about Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo was like super expensive for that first day. And then like three days later, he was like 8K. That's going to happen to Tyler Hero. I would be willing to almost bet any amount of money on that. So now that being said, Tyler Hero is very, very good. So... I don't know if he's even worth really picking up for that price though if i'm being honest like he's going for about 30k right what other shooting guards can you get for 30k that i think are havelcheck would be a very good he'd be a good example havelcheck's more of a three and d guy but i really like havelcheck so i guess he's not the best example you guys know i'm super high on havelcheck for like no reason to be honest so <laughs> that's not exactly the one i would uh go with here Let's think, who else is like a decent... I guess there's really no budget shooting guards, to be honest. 
I guess there's not. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, so maybe he is the best shooting guard you can buy for 30K. Yeah, he, he probably is, realistically. Then we got Peja Stojakovic, who, yeah, nobody's opening these packs. Peja is really, really expensive. Okay, the thing about Peja is, though, like, I'm going to compare him to Richard Lewis because Richard Lewis is, like, you know, 15K. So, hot zones-wise, <clears throat> they're essentially identical. Um, Richard Lewis is an inch taller than Peja with a much larger wingspan. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Peja's a better mid-range and three-point shooter, but it's by, like, plus two. Uh, once it gets above 95, I promise, it doesn't even really matter, truly. Uh, Peja is more of a dunker than Richard Lewis. Peja does have that 95 driving dunk for some reason. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, I think that has to do with his glitch card. Like I said, it's the glitch thing. When a card gets a glitched card early, like every card after that does the same thing. Uh, Rashard Lewis is a little bit faster. I mean, they're really, really similar. Like, <clears throat> wow. Yeah, like really similar. Uh, tendencies wise, Peja is better in regards to defensive tendencies, though. It's, I mean, it's kind of a big jump, but... I don't necessarily think it's the worst thing in the world. Peja also has a lower flashy dunk tendency, which I do think is important. The lower the flashy dunk tendency, the better for, for my money. Um, Peja does have slasher dribble style, which I think is fine. He's got like Vince Carter's crossover, which is okay. Uh, Harden's behind the back, which isn't bad. Jimmy Butler step back. I'm actually not familiar with Jimmy Butler step back. I probably am, but it's just the name. You know what I mean? I mean, objectively speaking, Peja is probably better. Uh, I prefer the release 42 upper over Chris Paul, but that's all, you know, preference, I guess. Uh, they both have the same dunk packages pretty much. Like, it's really preference-based, but I would say even though I, Peja might be slightly, ever so slightly better than Richard Lewis, like Richard Lewis is like 15K and Peja Stojakovic is like 50K, so... And then we got Allen Houston. Allen Houston, I don't think he's going to be expensive for long. I think he's a lot better than, you know, people give him credit for it, for sure. I'm a big Allen Houston guy, though. You guys know that. Shout out to my boy Allen Houston. He was so sick for, like, three years. He was so tight. Um, he's got a good badge count, though, realistically. Like, he's six foot six, which is a good size for a two-guard right now. Catch-and-shoot, corner specialist, uh, fearless, teardropper, which doesn't really mean much. He's got blinders, rhythm, sl Slippery, clutch. I couldn't pronounce that word just now for a second. Dead eye sniper, green machine, hot zone. Pretty much he's got every badge. Uh he's got every badge Hoff that we've been given for free over the past like three weeks. Like every free Hoff badge, Alan Houston has it. So just think about that. If you were to go badge up in Allen Houston with all your Hoff badges, it would just be this Allen Houston. Like that that's what that's funny. He does have like gold clamps and gold hyperdrive and stuff, so we can kind of move a little bit. He's got base dribble style, which obviously isn't great. But I mean, so does Tatum, so does Grant Hill. Like, cards with base dribble style can still work. You know what I mean? Uh, Luca being a good example. Luca's still really good even with base dribble style. Same with like Michael Red. Obviously, you'd wish it was a little bit different, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Shockingly, the Andrew Wiggins behind the back that Alan Houston has, I think is actually pretty good. I haven't really heard anyone talk about it, but like Lamar Odom and Alan Iverson have it, and I kind of like it. Damian Lillard's crossover is decent. Um, I don't... Chris Paul's step back? I don't know. Let me know if you guys think that one's good. I don't think I've used really any cards that have it. I don't have Michael Red. I haven't had Kobe. I very rarely used Chris Paul. Uh, Mellow step back's not terrible, so it's just kind of okay. He's got Ray Allen base on normal with Clay Thompson upper, so you know that's pretty fire. He's good. He's got pretty much every shooting badge. I mean, there's not much you would really want to give Allen Houston, but he is like an opal card at this point, you know? Um, limitless takeoff he doesn't have. He doesn't have posterizer. Uh, he doesn't have fade ace on next gen. He doesn't have quick chain. The only badge you can't get is dimer. That's that's it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and the reason I say that is not because it's weird that he doesn't have dimer. It would make kind of sense. But 2K just not allowing him to get one singular badge out of every badge in the game. It's just kind of petty and strange to me. Like if you're going to let him apply every other badge that he doesn't have that exists, why would you be like, no, you know what? He can't have dimer. We're stopping it at dimer. It's just weird. It's just like if they allowed 
like every badge to be put on him except like post playmaker they're like yeah you can't give him post playmaker like <laughs> i don't know what to tell you i don't think there's going to be any badge up versions i mean he looks pretty good i just don't think there's anything exceptional about alan houston now the other guy we got to look at here is steph i don't think yeah there's not going to be very many steps up inevitably people are going to put their steps up just because he's impacts even though nobody will draw him and his price won't go down at all so you just got to think about that they really gave my boy Allen houston only gold limitless and gold chef you 2k for shame is there anyone else in these packs that is a <clears throat> high ticket item uh not really i mean mask kevin durant i guess i got steve nash i gotta see how much he's going for i can't wait to get that 20k um i mean clay diamond clay will go down in price a bit like that's about it no one else really cares. okay first off i have questions why is this havel check in here but not pink diamond havel check it's not like i really want that but i just i don't understand 2k's logic on these they don't make sense to me like they they don't under no circumstances do they make sense with my boy steve nash at oh <laughs> no no 20k i'm gonna have to sell them too because i need the mt but i'll just wait i'll just wait to sell them at this point like i'll just use them whatever like it's fine i need them for the off phoenix team anyway we also got challenges let's see hunt for glory cold-blooded challenge I think you probably have to use a Knicks player, I would guess. Yep, Knicks player, make eight threes as a team. This should be a really, really good um, XP farming challenge, though. Or, like, if you're trying to get any of the moment stuff done, this should be a really good challenge for that. Because, like, Mahmoud's small. Allen Houston is 6'6", so he's not the biggest guy in the world. And all you really have to deal with is Peja, who doesn't even have the best defensive or rebounding badges. Um, actually, he doesn't really have any rebounding badges, actually like he does it so you might be in for some easy rebounds this is actually a much better challenge than the uh, camouflage one as far as being able to do some of the moments challenges with so have at it as always has been your boy cheap loots i will see you guys later if you guys are curious i just put out my shooting guard tier list yesterday so if you want to go check that out um if you're wondering where any of these guys would rank uh, i would say that katino mobley would be c tier i haven't got a chance to play with him yet so just remember that Tyler Hero is probably like mid B tier somewhere. Alan Houston's probably like right next to him. They're really not that much different. So peace out, guys.